is a pleasure for Boutique Mice Business to interview today an exclusive, exclusive interview with Mr. Georgette Davey, Managing Director of Glion Institute of Higher Education in Switzerland and the United Kingdom. Good afternoon. Um, Georgette, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. It's a beautiful sunny day here overlooking the lake from our Guillaume campus. That's absolutely gorgeous. Sunny day in Switzerland, having amazing views. So, as I said, it's uh, an exclusive interview with Managing Director of Lyon Institute of Higher Education. Um, please, uh, Georgette, could you uh, highlight, uh, describe your roles at Lyon Institute of Higher Education uh, 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 consider one of the leading uh, institutions uh, specializing hospitality and luxury management in the world. Uh, please uh, let us know and the audience from Europe and all over the world, uh, uh, how did you start your journey within the hospitality industry and, and your role as a managing director at Glion, please? Okay, so yes, my role and my uh, sort of step into hospitality really started from, from very young and very early on. I was always passionate about uh, you know, food preparation, food service. So uh, again, from you know, early teens, always knew it was something that I wanted to go into. So I followed my uh, degree in qualifications in, in hospitality management, which took me around the world working as far afield as Sydney, but also in Greece, before coming back to the UK to work in boutique-style hotels. And it was really when I was working in a small boutique hotel in East Anglia that uh, my previous lecturers came to me and asked if I could take on some interns. And when the interns came in, unfortunately, those interns were not like Swiss hospitality students. <laughs> they uh, didn't have the same skill set, so I always found that I was having to spend a lot of time with these students that were coming into our hotel as interns. So it was a big question to myself, which was, I can keep complaining about it or I can go and do something about it. So I started working at uh, University College uh, Suffolk. So I was working full time running a hotel, but uh, part time one day a week with some students on the campus. So I really felt as if I was able to contribute to their learning. It was just two years later that that went from one day a week to a full-time role and then I uh, was working in the UK for eight years and by that stage I was running hospitality, leisure and tourism courses both with University College Suffolk but also with a partner organisation and it then came to the question is if my career is going to continue within hospitality education there's only one place to go. And that place to go is the birthplace of hospitality education. So in 2001, I came to Switzerland and I was working at La Roche, our sister hotel school up in Bluche. And I spent some six years working in Bluche. Um, really enjoyed my time at La Roche. And again, you come to that career decision making point. And from that point, I then moved to Ecole Hotelier in Lausanne. And I was working in their consulting division, again, focusing on executive education, but also on developing hotel schools worldwide. It was in 2009, I was approached by Guillaume uh, mm -hmm. to come and work for them here on the Guillaume campus. And I did that for a further three years. So from 2009 to 2011, um, acting as dean on the Guillaume campus. Rightly or wrongly, uh, my life took a different change at that point, and I moved back to the United Kingdom and subsequently got married. Uh, uh, congratulations! Now, yeah, you found the love. It's very, very important to to to, <laughs> to 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 keep on uh, carry on with that amazing and impressive, successful career. Please uh, continue telling us how did you get uh, to where you are today, uh, Georgette. Yeah, so it was in 2013 that I was then approached again by Guillaume. Uh, I'd been working in the United Kingdom as Director of Higher Education for South Thames College. And in 2013, they approached me and said, would I open up the London campus for them? 
So opening up the London campus, we were and still are the only Swiss hospitality school based in the United Kingdom. So something I was very proud to be part of. It was a very unique experience opening up with our partner organization, which is University of Roehampton. So taking that from not existing to being where it is today. And then it was in 2017, uh, some nine months after Somme Education was formed, that they came and spoke to me in London and said, would I return to Switzerland to take on the role as managing director worldwide? So it's been um, a very fast and furious career, but also a very interesting and broad career within Swiss hospitality education. And I suppose if I reflect back now, uh, you know, my career was always forecast and focused on being within hospitality. So it went from being educated in hospitality to taking my educational qualifications in hospitality, working in hospitality, and then again, working with students who go on to work in hospitality. So it's been, you know, a great career, a hugely global career as well. It hasn't finished body. yet. It hasn't finished yet. And, and, and the best is around the corner. So, um, uh, Mr. Bay, uh, congratulations for, for being almost 20 years since you joined Le Roche and almost 12 years since you joined uh, Glion Institute uh, of Higher Education, developing innovative and hospitality and leadership uh, programs uh, for those millennium learners, as well as being around the world, uh, 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 gathering knowledge in order to be at the forefront of the development of what today is one of the world's finest education institutions. Uh, please, uh, Georgette, uh, Mr. Bay, could you tell us, as a managing director of Lyon, Switzerland, as an entrepreneur who also uh, opened the campus in the UK, what what are the the most important things you will do to ensure the education institution's success, as well as if you could briefly tell us what comes first on your agenda? What are your immediate plans, priorities for 2021 uh, Managing Director Agenda for Glion Institute of Higher Education? Please, Georgette. I think what's the most important thing to ensure about the institution's success is that we stay at the forefront of hospitality. And by staying at the forefront of hospitality and knowing the situation that we're in at the current time with COVID-19, we know that the industry is in a complex situation, so we want to, again, ensure that as our graduates continue their learning journey, that they are ready to be able to deal with any situations in the future. So it's, it's a very interesting time for our students to be learning. But what's our immediate plan is to ensure that, obviously, graduates and future graduates can join our programme. So our immediate agenda item is very much linked to what we're calling our Guillaume Connect. So students who are unable to travel at the current time don't have to put off starting their learning journey. So our Guillaume Connect is a specifically designed program which has a mix of 10 weeks remote learning and 10 weeks on campus. So students can still start their studies. This is not going to stop them getting prepared for the industry of the future. So with our students joining that Gillian Connect, they join from home, they get a great welcome kit, they are looking and studying modules in the art of gastronomy, the wine and bar universe, rooms division and the hotel operations. But they're doing that from that remote location. Uh, again, with those very unique opportunities of the video, the coaching, the ongoing assessment and the personalised coaching the students will get for the first 10 weeks. Then in January 2021, the students will join our campus here in Guillaume, where they will be able to, again, work with our renowned experts in practical arts, with our milieu de France, uh, our executive chefs, Paolo Basso, and some of the world's best sommeliers since 2013. So this combined program means that our students starting um, and just having finished their school education are not holding back. They're not having to wait until the world opens up again. The journey starts in October. Fantastic! That 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 sounds. That October is just 
uh, uh, next month, yeah? So uh, that's good. Um, the world will not close. The world is it's advancing progressively towards one of the worst uh, devastations that uh, has uh, arise, especially in our generation, because we're still young, at least in spirit. <laughs> exactly. But uh, we are going to be the ones holding the flag, and we are going to be the ones that, 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 that will recover uh, uh, with a positive attitude, and those who would like to become leaders within the hospitality industry, certainly, Leon Institute of Higher Education is the place. It is the place to experience excellence every day. So, uh, multicultural campuses, uh, students who come from all over the world to develop and become world leaders within the global hospitality industry. Please, highlight, uh, Mr. Bay, uh, 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 the main competitive advantages that uh, Glion Institute of Higher Education has to offer uh, to those students who are understanding the important and the, 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 the vital, the crucial role that it plays diversity, multicultural skills, knowledge, practical work, and those values, as well as the ones that you are mentioning uh, together with the technology and, 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 and the blended programs that you are offering to your students independently of the current situation that has arise, um, highlight the main competitive advantages and, 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 and especially in this business world that become more and more competitive. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Bay. So I think uh, what's really important is our, our heritage. And I think we know that Guignol's had over 50 years of offering students access to absolute experts. And with that heritage, it's only been broadened since we've now also got our sister school, which is Ecole du Cass, another global leader in the culinary arts education. So since 2019. So Guignol has continued to evolve over time. But the curriculum here at Guignol is very much founded on that Swiss model of hospitality education, combining the practical instruction, which is still critical for students going into the hospitality industry. So that practical instruction and immersion with both the practice, the theoretical, but also the general management and business courses that our students take. When we look at the hospitality industry, it really is, again, a commercial industry and our students need to learn all aspects of the business. So from that first academic semester, which always focuses on hospitality excellence, where the students really deepen their knowledge in the practical arts modules. And again, more recently, our curriculum has focused on luxury hospitality and that luxury hospitality culture, both within our premises here on school, but also in the things that our students are learning but also the contemporary gastronomy, everything from our Bellevue restaurant all the way through to our fresh restaurant. So again, concepts developing and in line with the industry. Again, our students are supervised through our Milieu de France, so people who are absolute experts and craftspeople from France. But we also believe that a good manager needs to experiment in practice. So all of the professions within the hospitality industry. So it's that boutique environment that we have here, which is so important uh, when we look at our ratio of students to staff. It's, it's one member of staff to five students. So our students really do have access to personalized education and a way in which when they've got a question they want to ask, they know who they can ask it of. Our students, we know all of our students by name. So in order to deliver that individualized study approach, those smaller class sizes, specifically in the workshops in practical arts, maybe 12 students, but then even when they move into semester three, four, six, seven, class sizes on average of 35 students. So it really does make a difference. But 
not only does it make a difference that they're in smaller group sizes with the multicultural diversity our students are learning to become global citizens and global leaders for the future from day one and with Neil being ranked amongst one of the top three hospitality education students across the world, specifically by that QS World Ranking, it really does demonstrate that our heritage, the way in which we teach our students through the Swiss learning model, that immersion, the learning of the practical skills, but also within the business context is critical and why our students are so successful when they go out into industry. They are so successful that Leon Salopne became managers in less than five years. I can visualize exactly what you're saying because I've been there and done that. Uh, and it is not only one of the finest uh, institutions uh, uh, in the world, but also it is a life master. And uh, mentioning the world master... Uh, and uh, um, summarizing a bit uh, what you just said as a managing director of Lyon Institute of Higher Education, you offer all, a whole range, a diverse uh, uh, range of programs that covers from uh, gastronomy, education to um, a state of art, good cuisine, uh, uh, bachelor's, master's, culinary uh, uh, programs, I mean adaptable to each of the needs of those future uh, leaders of luxury and boutique, uh, hospitality uh, um, uh, worldwide, uh, as well as leading brands in the world will go to Glion Institute of Higher Education for Global Talent uh, Acquisition. And your position as the institution is to develop those future leaders and supervised by award-winning experts. So please, let's uh, talk a little bit about your, your, your range of programs. Um, uh, at Glion, at the forefront of executive education development within the elite international hospitality industry. So our programs of study range from a Bachelor of Business Administration, which is for three and a half years, and that enables our students, again, we look at the specializations that they can do at the end of semester seven, it's luxury, it's also the event specialization, and in addition to the hotel development and finance specialization. We also have uh, master's programs, and our master's programs range from real estate over on our campus in London through to luxury and guest experience here in Guillaume, as well as hospitality, entrepreneurship and innovation. And in addition, our specialized masters for international hospitality business. So again, students who may have done a first degree in, an, in another subject and actually want to move into hospitality. So it does mean that we have that full range. So from young students who've just finished their post year 12 education, coming in to do a bachelor's, all the way through to, as I say, our master's programs where students may be changing a career, or developing their masters uh, into a varied range of subjects is always uh, positive to see so many people, so many nationalities, and again, such a wide age range of students coming to our campuses as well. That is great. Let's talk a little bit about the facilities, the campuses. Uh, uh, what, what is the major benefits uh, uh, that uh, uh, um, Glion Institute uh, uh, of, of Higher Education has to offer. Let's talk about the facilities, the main competitive, uh, uh, why it stand out of the crowd, because you also offer not only the education, which is ranked, as you said, between the top three in the world, but also the facilities as a venue, as a, as a, as a pre-work a scenario so while students are studying they are currently experiencing to be in a five-star boutique hotel and uh, uh, let's talk about your facilities your campuses your destinations please okay so i think 
again, if we talk about Guignol itself, we've obviously got uh, the Guignol campus just above Montreux. Um, again, stunning campus, and with our Bellevue restaurant, which opened on February uh, 2018. Uh, it's a very exclusive uh, venue, and again, uh, world class in the uh, fine dining experience. So the students, as you say, are not only learning within that fine dining experience, but with our external guests coming in and in enjoying their their meals within that venue so just outstanding we've then got our fresh concept which is located up in in the village very unique um, in its food production very much focused on vegetarian and healthy eating so our facilities here in Guillaume if we then look at our facilities up in Buell, uh, Buell is much more of a university campus and it's where our students go after uh, they've completed their practical arts and internship. And this is again located in Buell, but gives our students a university style experience as they're studying their semester three to three to seven, but also our master's students. We've also then got our campus in London, where we work with our partners, University of Roehampton, with a dedicated facility for our students who wish to study in the London campus. But I think that brings us to perhaps the more interesting side is how our students can move. So students can move within the network as well. So under those circumstances, being part of that broader network, our students can study their entire degree here in Switzerland, or if not, they can choose to move to our London campus, so starting in Switzerland, moving to London, but then there's even a broader range. So with our uh, wider network, our students can also choose to join La Roche Spain or La Roche China to once again really expand their knowledge, but also working within that cultural diversity. So. Our multicultural student body with over 90 different nationalities on the campus. 90 and different like, nationalities. This is yes, extremely 90. impressive. When I was studying there almost 30 years ago, not even 30, but 20 something, we were, we were at least, we were at least 80. And it keeps on having the same essence that it used to have 20 and 30 and 40 up to almost 60 years ago since it was founded. Glion Institute of Higher Education offered the possibility to study with 90 different nationalities. So please uh, um, let us know how important is that for, for, for the, the, the global uh, development of the industry. Um, uh, 90 nationalities coming from all over the world, offering the possibility to do in different semester in different campuses and destinations. And um, obviously, it is also, as you said, a, a venue for those who would like to experience the uh, uh, gourmet cuisine and the uh, uh, state of art service uh, managed by uh, winers and bed sommeliers. Tell us a little bit, we are boutique mice business. We understand the importance of the meetings and, and events industry because, frankly, uh, 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 it employs over 20 million people and it's worth a trillion dollar. So since you also offer the possibility within your restaurants to private hire. Uh, uh, let's highlight the importance of your of your restaurant, the private hire. How could people uh, uh, book a private room with your exclusive venues, events, seminars for dinners or product presentations? My business. Yes. So uh, indeed, as you say, when you uh, have a, size, a school the size and scale that we have, but also those uh, particular venues such as um, our restaurant but also again the meeting rooms so there are meeting rooms that people can book and that people do book uh, to come and experience everything that Guillaume has and from stepping through the front door where you're stepping into an exclusive uh, feeling of a five-star hotel through the reception, through the Skyline Bar. There's many, many different ways in which our facilities are used by external companies and also for 
events and launch events here on the campus. The location here in Guillaume, very specifically, because it really has the most spectacular views of uh, Lake Geneva. And again, the Bellevue restaurant to sit and uh, have your fine dining experience while watching the sunset directly over the lake is one magical experience, whether it's a group of two people sitting and dining together or whether it is a meeting or an incentive or an, you know, an exhibition that people have. It really is very exclusive and, again, very unique. And incentives is also part of uh, the MICE business. It's meeting, incentive, conference and exhibitions. And you have the ski slopes right there, which is a fantastic opportunity to have a nice lunch and then go skiing and having the opportunity to have a, 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 that spectacular scenario that uh, Glion uh, Institute of Higher Education offer not only to the students but also to the guests who would like to use it as a venue for the meetings. Um, let's um, uh, talk about a message as an expert that you are, uh, um, Mr. Bay, a message for those young professionals entering the hospitality business and the, the, the mice industry. Uh, 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 what would be your your advice as a visionary, as a, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a, an expert, not only in the education, but also with your vast experience within the hospitality industry? Let's give them a, a message from the expert's opinion, please. Well, my message is that this is one of the most exciting industries. Uh, it's a very agile, it's a very flexible, but it's a very exciting industry to be in. It's an industry where we can travel, we become global citizens, we work within global and multinational teams. It is truly life-changing. Uh, to, to experience that type of industry and one that continues to grow, continues to innovate and continues to be able to overcome any challenge as well. I think we look at COVID-19. This hasn't stopped our industry. It hasn't stopped the meetings, incentive and events industry. We've just looked at different ways of being able to put on the event or, again, to have that meeting. So my, my point for anybody, anyone considering a career within hospitality, meetings, incentive, exhibitions, is the greatest industry because it's an exciting industry to be in. Exactly. Uh, thank you very much for your time. There is anything else that uh, you would like to add, uh, uh, Georgette, uh, Mr. Bay, for our audience, for the international readers that boutique mice business as well as meeting uh, professionals, internationals that will have access to your words. Um, anything else you would like to add that we have I missed? Would just say, uh, I would just say we're a hospitality school. Our doors are always well open, so they're always welcoming people to come and visit us and if there's anybody that wants to come and visit us and come and really experience this spectacular place then do contact us because as I say it really is a very special place and I'm sure you understand that especially linked to the Guillaume spirit which you developed while you were here and has lived with you and your global family ever since. Fantastic thank you very much for your time and hope to see you in Guillaume very soon. Take care right. and, 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 and looking forward for that October where more students than ever will join this new semester. Thank you very much. That's great. Have Thank a lovely you. evening. Bye -bye. Ciao.